Shannon with Girls in the Stacks, and I'm here with Kirsten White, author of Paranormal Seat, which I actually would normally show you the book cover, but instead I'm going to tell you it's my first book that I got on my Kindle. I love it. And it's pink. It is pink. It's because I'm cool like that. And it has a light. All right, so have her sign it later. Oh, here it is. <laughs> but really, it's more cool that it was on my Kindle. <laughs> All right, so it was one of my first downloads, that's why I said, and um, it's one of my favorite books. And I just said, not only is it a fresh idea, but you're witty. <laughs> so what's your secret to like, keep us giggling all the time? You know, I just let my characters talk. I get really, really enjoy dialogue, and, and I mean, I have very voicey characters, and, and Abby has an incredibly strong narrative voice. I actually have to rein her in quite a bit. Um, um. So I always knew, like, either people are really going to respond to her, or they're really going to dislike her. There's not a lot of her around there. Um, but yeah, I just let them, they surprise me. Like, I'll be writing, and I'll start giggling, and then I'll be like, well, I'm the biggest dork alive. And you're, yes. you're like, I'm funny. I'm so funny. Oh, wow. And I went, your blog is so funny. We love to talk to Pepper and Nancy. I do like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Uh, we love no. and Nancy. Nancy <laughs> likes Dr. Pepper. Okay, so holy moly, you're on your, is this your first book tour? Yes. Yes, and you're going a lot of places. Yes. She's with Sophie Jordan. You've been going a lot. Is, is she on your whole tour? Yeah, you? we're doing all of our stops together. Yes. Yeah. That, they're probably BFS. So how are you feeling from the response from adults, I mean, or teens on your book? <laughs> you know, it's been really fun, and it, we're supposed to get close together. Thank I you. really like people who like my book. Um, <laughs> it's been really fun, and it's fun that adults are responding to it, teens are responding to it, men are responding to it, and it's just, you know, you put this out there, and it's almost like a leap of faith, like, please let people enjoy this. And so when you get the feedback, and people are like, it made me laugh, or I was really scared of that part, like, it's just the most validating thing that you can have, especially as a debut author that the, the people are responding to it. So that's just been yes, phenomenal. That's yes. great. So what are you working on now? I already have finished the, the direct sequel, Supernaturally. It's in copy edit, so it'll come out next fall. Um, I'm starting to think about the third book. I'm really trying not to think about it right now. Um, I have to write that this winter. I do have an older top secret project that I cannot talk dun, about. Dun, dun. Yeah, but then I have a ghost story that's a standalone that, you know, that's been that's like some standalone. Yeah, and that's a pet project of mine. I'm not sure when that will even be submitted to editors. That's one I always have on the side when I work on it when I don't have anything else going on. So. so what's in your stack? What are you reading? Especially now that you're on the airplane oh, a lot, um, traveling. I actually have been trying to read a lot of the stuff with the people that I'm meeting on tour. Um, so I just finished Nancy Worland's Extraordinary. Um, I really am into middle grade. I love middle grade. And it's because middle grade is funny. A lot of YA, especially YA Paranormal, doesn't do funny. It takes itself very seriously. And so I read the middle grade series because they're very playful and they have a lot of fun with the writing. And so I feel like I can take that and apply it in my own writing and see how they did that, how they pulled off having fun with language and having a fun worldview. And then I can apply that to my writing. So I really like middle grade. So do you read that to your kids? How old are your kids? My kids are four and six. They so don't let me read very much to them. Okay. Are we supposed to be? So. So you don't read that middle grade to your... <laughs> no, I don't read the middle grade to my kids. All right, well, thank you so much for meeting with thank us. You. And with that, we'll see you in the stacks. Bye.